वेलकम नमस्ते आई एम मधु गाडिया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक क्विक चिकपी करी टू डू दैट गोइंग टू हीट द पैन एंड पुट सम ऑयल इन इट ओके आई ऑलवेज लाइक टू स्टोर माय पॉट टू कोट द बॉटम विद ऑयल एंड वी जस्ट लेट इट हीट This is one of my standard dishes when I'm coming home late from work and we want a quick hearty meal. And I can pull two cans of chickpeas out of the pantry and turn them into a delicious meal. All I do is serve it with rice and salad and we're good to go. So, now that the oil is heated, you want to put your asafoetida. Now, what is asafoetida? Asafoetida is like your beano. It helps digest the beans. It's natural. It comes from the tree. It's a gum of a tree and it's very pungent. Keep it closed in a pantry and cover it again if necessary. Then you put your cumin seeds and you want to wait until the cumin seeds are starting to brown or are brown. All right, and see how nice and golden brown they are. That's when they're going to have the maximum flavor. Now I'm adding onions. And I'm going to just brown my onions. Takes about 3 to 5 minutes. Now if your onions and your tomatoes, that's going to give you the base for your curry. Now what is a curry? People think of making a curry and they put curry powder in it. A total no-no. Do not add curry powder because you're going to get a completely different dish. You always want to use individual spices because that's when you're going to get the real flavors of the curry. Okay, now that your onion are brown, you're going to add the tomatoes. tomatoes and ginger and stir that and i just cover it for about a minute or two and until the tomatoes are soft all right the tomatoes are soft and i'm going to use a masher and just mash the tomatoes And remember that's what's going to give your curry or the sauce the flavoring. We're not adding any broth to it. So you need to let it cook and really get the flavors in there. Turn the heat down just a little bit more. It's popping on me. All right. Now I'm going to add all the spices. I've got cayenne pepper and cayenne pepper is what adds heat to the curry. And if you don't like your curry or to be hot, just reduce the cayenne pepper. And cayenne pepper can vary a lot too. Some are really hot, some are not so hot. So reduce it or add it to the flavorings you like. Now I'm adding ground coriander and salt. Oh wow! Look at the color of that. That is wonderful. Now I know my sauce is going to be good. going to add the chickpeas I'm just kind of letting them coat a little bit before I just add the water to it All right increase the heat adding water and oh look at this looks great But look what I see. I forgot to add my turmeric. I'm just going to add it now. It'll be fine. Things happen. I'm going to cover it with the lid and let it come to boil and then reduce the heat and simmer for 10 minutes. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what our chick pea curry is doing. Looks absolutely fabulous. All right. One thing I do want to make sure that you understand is you want to make sure your curry is boiling at the 
slow boil the whole time. Don't just let it sit there in, in liquid. It will never transform the flavors like this will. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna mash it a few beans. And the only reason I'm doing that is don't mash it a lot, just enough to break some of the chickpeas so it'll thicken the, the curry, the sauce or the soup, whichever one you want to call it. All right, it's ready to go. And I'm going to add garam masala, which is my final step, and some lemon juice. Okay. Okay, it's done. And we're going to serve it with rice. Just turn it off. Add, you can add the cilantro to the pan or you can add it to your dish. All right, and here's your chickpea curry. Enjoy. I hope you'll make it at home. Happy healthy cooking.